What's good everyone, your dig, four eyes, two G's here, and today we're here to talk about Lil Yachty and the good Perry, formerly known as Burberry Perry. Now, when Lil Yachty first started to gain notoriety in the SoundCloud scene, back around 2015 or so I'd say, it seemed that Yachty and Perry were joined at the hip, they were constantly seen together, they were always collabing, and Yachty even cites Perry as the one who helped him create his signature boat sound. We were actually, we were all, we're literally always together at all times. We we shared a room mm. when he took me in. He, he like shared his room with me, shared his clothes with me. However, as Lil Yachty transitioned out of the SoundCloud scene into a mainstream figure, it seemed that Perry's contributions to Yachty's project started to slow down. To the point to a Lil Boat 2 and nothing to prove, Perry had no contribution to those projects at all. And we've seen this story happen countless times, where people come into the game together, one of them blows up, or something happens between them, and then they have a falling out. In early 2018, Yachty would confirm that the two don't talk anymore. However, neither Yachty or Perry directly directly addressed this and laid out exactly what happened between the two. And although Yodi confirmed in late 2018 that they did make up and are cool again, let's go back in time and kind of discuss what happened and let's see if we can put some pieces together that give us some indications. Now, as many of you will know, the sailing team is Yodi's crew. And similar to the situation with Perry, when Yodi first came out into the scene, the sailing team was seen everywhere with Yodi. However, as time progressed and Yodi continually got bigger, they weren't seen together as much anymore. In Yodi's second interview with No Jumper, Yodi briefly touched on the sailing team and what happened between them. I saw something in everyone in the sailing team, but it didn't work that way for everyone. Everyone didn't have the same vision I had for themselves. How much money I spent on these kids who don't care about themselves? You can't want something from somebody who don't want it for themselves, you know? So then I had to just scale back a little bit and kind of do my own thing, you know what I'm saying? And then again, in his recent interview with Cohen Frost, he would echo similar sentiments about the sailing team. It got to the point where I was spending so much money, yeah. like almost a million dollars trying to like create this company out of my own money. Right, right. And they didn't want it for themselves. Magazines and um, taking them on tour around the right, world right. twice, getting these hotels and these tour, big tour buses and spending all this money on like, uniform, custom uniforms and video shoots. Wow. And they were just really lazy, lazy. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was like, why am I sitting here trying so hard to make you guys? And after this, in the same interview, he would loosely address Burberry Perry directly. Like, just like my, which I don't really like talking about my, you know, my old best friend Perry. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, which who I'm not that close to anymore. Yeah. Um, I never wanted anything from him. Right, just right. for him to be great. Right. You know. Yeah. But. That's a long story. And from these interviews here, I think we can kind of infer some of the things that happened in the background. Clearly, Yachty felt like Perry and other members of the sailing team really weren't putting in that effort to take advantage of the opportunities and platforms that Yachty was giving them. Remember, Yachty isn't lying. He really did do a lot for the sailing team and for specifically Perry as well. He put him in videos, he put him on his projects, he introduced him to people like Kylie Jenner, the whole nine. And for Perry to not go out there and capitalize on these platforms and to make something out of his own solo career, I just don't think that's fair to blame or pin that solely on Yachty. Because at the end of the day, Yachty has his own career to worry about and he can't really be expected to sit there and micromanage everyone. And before we go on guys, just a reminder, if you haven't, please make sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe to your boy, also, turn on those notifications so you guys don't miss a video of mine and you can keep up to date. Also, a reminder about the Rodeo merch. It's fire. Link in the description if you want to cop. And also, make sure to support your boy on Instagram, at your dig. Go help your mans out and give him a follow. But getting back to it. In Perry's song, Miss Me, that was released in early 2018, people did allege that he was talking about what happened between him, Yachty, and the sailing team. The lyrics are pretty somber, with him talking about best friend, don't let me down, saying that he thought he had friends that were there till the end, and saying you'll miss me when I'm gone. It's honestly quite a sad and dreary song. And it's important to note that this song right here was made quite a few months before Yachty came out and said that him and Perry were cool again. So this was likely made when the two weren't really talking anymore. So I definitely think there were some references to the sailing team and Yachty in this song right here. However, having said that, even Yachty said himself, it's a long story about him and Perry's relationship. So it's clear that we don't know the full extent of the story and we are missing details. And as anybody who watches this video will know, when 
Whenever you hear from somebody about a beef, a breakup, or a relationship, or a falling out, or something like that, people don't include all the information, and there are two sides to every story. So realistically, we don't know the full details of this falling out. And to be honest, them no longer working together has had a pretty clear influence on Yachty's music. As Yachty said himself, Perry influenced Yachty's Lil Boat 1 era sound so much, so with Perry no longer around him, his music has taken much more of a darker and grittier undertone, which I think comes as a result of that Migos and QC influence, as nowadays, instead of hanging around with people like Perry, he's hanging around them. And although some people don't like Yachty's newer music, I'm not one to completely dismiss it, and I do think he still comes out with bangers, but now that they're cool again, I would still love to see Yachty and Perry on a track together. But that's all for me today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't turned on those notifications, make sure to hit them down below to keep up to date with all my new videos. Also, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to your boy, and make sure to follow me on Instagram at your dig. Also, more videos of mine on screen right now. Make sure to check them out if you haven't.